Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. So you may have heard of this. I had never heard of it. And I was sitting at a dinner with my friend and she has really pretty skin. And she says to me, you know, I stick my face in ice water every day. And I was like, well, I've had a chemo facial. (laughs) I don't know if you've had to have chemo, but it exfoliates you. It gets rid of fast growing cells and that's your hair, your nails, or it can, not every chemo, but certainly my different seven chemo drugs had an impact on my skin. And so people always talk about the fact that my skin is nice. So I always say, oh, I had a chemo facial. But my friend Bobby said she sticks her face in ice water. Now, I want you to definitely ask your doctor if it's okay for you to do this. I'm not recommending it. I'm just telling you what my girlfriend Bobby said that she did. So I looked it up and I thought, whoa, this is kind of cool. I've never tried it, but I do take a cold shower every morning. I do a really cool episode on that called Giving Cancer the Cold Shoulder. So if you haven't heard it and you're curious, definitely go check it out. That's a very chock full of science-backed information about the benefits of a cold shower on your mind, body, and spirit. But definitely talk to your doctor about it before you do it. Make sure that it would be good for you. So that's similar to this freezing facial that seemed kind of startling to me, but now you know I have to try it. I'm so curious. So before I tell you what she raved on about this, like she just was such a big proponent of doing this facial and her skin really does look amazing. I want to tell you the negatives because you should definitely at least know some of them before you start researching to see if you should do it. So one site that I found said, icing your face has benefits, but it's not without drawbacks. It can cause redness and sensitivity and a lot of irritation. There's a risk of an ice burn and that it could worsen certain conditions, skin conditions on your face. I asked her, like, how did you actually do this? So she said she takes a bowl of water in the morning when she wakes up and she puts cold water in it and then a ton of ice cubes. And then when the water's really cold, she takes out the ice cube. She has her hair pulled back and she puts her face in it for 30 seconds at a time. And then she stops and then she repeats that. And then she stops and she repeats it. Now she said, Some people actually rub ice on their face. I couldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. And she said, you know, this does waste water and ice. So I said to her, do you put that back in the refrigerator? That would be gross. (laughs) What if someone in your family takes your frozen face ice cubes? (laughs) Or water and then drinks it, like puts it in a drink. And then I thought, oh, I guess what you could do is you could use a different color ice tray for your face water. And that way you were conserving the water by reusing it. And then I thought, ooh, that's probably really gross because it has the impurities that were on your face so that you wouldn't want to do it. But I was trying to think if somebody didn't have access to a lot of water, how they would do this. Anyway, so she described it and I said, so what does it feel like? She said, well, it wakes you up, right? It gets you perky and alert because you're putting your face in ice water. And I was like, yes, so does a cup of coffee, Bobby. (laughs) 
<laughs> she drinks that too, I think. But I don't even drink coffee, but it was a funny joke. Anyway, so she said that not only does she feel very alive and present after she does that, but you could meditate and also feel present. But she said that it makes her skin tighter. It makes it glow. She really does this every single day. I don't know if I would have the discipline to do it every single day, but I certainly wanted to try it. And I did do a deeper dive on this because I feel like, okay, it's one thing if I'm going to try it, but if you're listening to the hundreds of episodes of Beating Cancer Daily and I'm presenting something to you, I should definitely have some research behind it. So even healthline.com said it can eliminate puffiness, especially around the eyes, reduce oiliness, ease acne, soothe sunburn, reduce swelling and inflammation. If you have insect bites on your face, I hope you don't have insect bites on your face, reduce the sign of aging, such as wrinkles. And I said before, just give you like a glow. So this is repeated over and over and over again. I think if I had a heart condition, I wouldn't want to try this. Again, I am not a doctor, and I think that it's always important. I say this throughout all the episodes. Really check with your doctor to make sure this is right for you, particularly if you have a skin condition and you do see a dermatologist or a general doctor for it, because they do state that it can make a condition worse. And I don't want you calling me on the phone going, Sarah and I did this and I had a terrible reaction. It's your fault. So I'm saying right now, before you even hear the disclaimer at the end, I want you to do this mindfully and don't go sticking your face in and suffocating because you held your breath too long. She does 30 seconds, which I still think is a long time. I think you should just try it once for like three seconds. So I think I'll try it for like three seconds and just make sure that my body likes this. And then maybe I'll increase over time every few days, add a few more seconds. So a lot of the sites say 30 seconds maximum. They don't think you should do it more than the 30 seconds at a time. So just really do what's good for you. Again, I'm going to start super slow, and I know I don't have time to do this every day, but they do say that you can do it every day. Some people will just use reusable ice packs. They even have mask ones. I bought one for my daughter who used to get migraines. So you have to decide if that's what you want to do. I just think you have to be careful because sometimes ice can be too cold or have a film on it and it can burn you almost. I don't know if you've ever had an ice burn, but I have. And so I just want you to be careful. So you know that I had to do some kind of humor about ice, ice water, ice cubes. And I think this ice water facial thing is hilarious. I want to do it. I just want to make sure you're safe if you do it. But I just have to try it because you know me, I have to try everything. So this cartoon from Sunny Street is a woman speaking to her husband and he's sitting down with a beer watching television and she's standing in their igloo with him and you look down and there are all these ice cubes under her by her feet and a trail of ice cubes. <laughs> and she says to her husband, I think my water broke. <laughs> but <laughs> they're ice cubes instead of water because they're in an igloo. I just thought that was so clever, whoever thought of that. It has nothing to do with an ice cube facial. It's just really witty. And then another one, two penguins, and I can't decipher who the cartoonist is who did this one. And they're sitting like by an igloo. And one penguin says to the other, personally, I don't see the big deal about the ice bucket challenge. <laughs> 
I don't know if you remember that, but there was this challenge to dump ice on your head. And I think people started to use it to raise money for charity. But the fact that two penguins in Antarctica don't think that pouring ice on your head is any big deal. <laughs> I thought it was funny. And then there were so many of this one. It's an ice cube. And sometimes the ice cube is alone. And sometimes it's talking to water. And it just says a bubble out of the ice cube. I was water before it was cool. <laughs> so now you see how I get through my day. <laughs> I just think funny thoughts and then I find other people who think funny thoughts about the topic that I'm interested in. And that's comic perspective. And that's how I got through so much bad news day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, trying to beat aggressive cancer. And eventually it worked. As I said, if you listen to any of the episodes of Beating Cancer Daily, there are hundreds of episodes of all the strategies and techniques that I did do and now new ones that I find out about to just have the best quality day and to keep myself as healthy as possible. And if it could have some vanity side effects where my skin looks better or I look younger and healthier, why not try it? That's my motto, but please do check with your team first and let me know if you do try it or you've heard bad or good things about it. You can write to me at comedycares.org or you can record a message to me through the podcast section. Have a blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow. If you loved today's episode, then tell the world. Why? Because Beating Cancer Daily is a listener and donor supported experience. So the more people you tell and the more people that join us, the more robust and interesting programs our nonprofit, the Comedy Cures Foundation, can bring to you throughout the year. So if you have some extra change, I'd love you to go to comedycures.org and make a donation today of whatever level is comfortable for you. And it will be tax deductible to the extent allowed by law because Comedy Cures is a nonprofit 501c3 organization founded from my chemo chair, April 1999. And we've been going strong ever since. So please consider making a donation today and help our community and this podcast thrive. Guess what time it is? It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the membership circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening. See you guys tomorrow.